mortgage rates racing towards 8% now, locking home buyers out of the market with mortgage demand plummeting to a nearly three decade low. Joining us now, Bright MLS Chief Economist Lisa Sturdivant. Lisa, great to have you on the program. Thanks for being here. Biggest concern Thanks right now me. is that rates are going up, and given the jobs numbers we saw today, maybe they're going to go up even more from here. Um, but prices are not coming down as quickly as people want. So the market has basically stalled, and inventory is low. Um, what are you supposed to do? I mean, housing is a number one need for many of us out there. How do you navigate this market? No, absolutely, right? With elevated mortgage rates and prices that are continuing to rise, we've seen affordability hit an all-time low. And for prospective home buyers in the market, it has only gotten more challenging. So we've seen that for some people, the decision has just been to sit out the market because in some markets, rents are coming down and renting may be the better option at this point. And for others, there's just been a lot more creativity that has had to go into the home buying process, whether that's buying with family members, looking at adjustable rate mortgages, or finding other ways to get into this really tough market. Wow, I think some people, you know, when they think about inventory and not having a lot of options at the moment, they might think maybe a new home, a newly built home would might be the route to go uh, and kind of put off that home buying purchase maybe until a new home is built online six months, a year down the road, hoping for better conditions, right? But I was taking a look at home builder sentiment and that dropped recently after rising earlier this year. If anyone is following along with how home builders are feeling, if they're not as optimistic now as we have an inventory crunch, what does that say to a buyer who might think a new home could be possible for them? Yeah, I think that's right. We've seen a lot of home buyers who maybe have gone to the lots of new build uh, developments. They might not have expected to be looking at new construction, but but that's what's available. Welcome back to our Tisha Powell show. So how can you buy property today? You heard what Fox News had said that properties are getting more expensive. In fact, Wall Street came out and said that properties now are going to be 5% more per year. Look, to buy a townhome in the United States, it's about 265,000 US dollars. The difference with the townhome versus a single family home is that the townhome is attached, but you can get an average townhome is about 1,300 square feet. So that is really big. The average single family home is about 1,500 square feet. So you're fighting over 300 square feet and paying $200,000. It's ridiculous. You can raise your family in a townhome, which is three bedroom, two bathrooms. So what are the four hurdles that people need to overcome in order to buy a home? Listen to me and if you have to re-listen to this tape, listen, I owned 15 homes by the time I was 27 years old. The first hurdle is credit reports. You need to work on your credit. Second hurdle is a down payment. What about doing 100% financing? <gasps> Zillow is offering 15% down. We'll talk more in another show. So if you're a US citizen or a green card holder, this is the show for you. Go ahead and hit that free like and that free subscribe button. Low inventory is causing a problem in the real estate market as well. Affordable prices, that's a big thing because Wall Street purchased probably 20, 30% of the single family homes. How do I know the real estate market isn't gonna crash? So doing this for 41 years, I can tell you that you can graph the cheap. So if you graph the chart, you would see that in 2020, and in 2008, everything costs the same. That's what it is, the same in real estate. What you saw for 430 in 2020 is was worth 430 now in 2008. So that's a problem. Real estate is also very unique. It goes up and down, up and down. It doesn't go sideways. It is on its way up. In fact, it's going up 5% per year, which is a small drum jump. This is why Dave Ramsey tells people to buy because real estate is on its way up. Also, when commercial real estate crashes, a lot of players from that are coming over to real estate. So real estate is even going to, residential real estate. Residential real estate is going to be even more valuable. You're buying for three reasons. You're buying because one day you're going to live rent free once you pay off the mortgage. Number two, it is cheaper to buy than to rent. And number three, you're gaining wealth. And number four, you need somewhere to live. So that's another reason that you are purchasing real estate. Friends and folks, go ahead and do me a favor, please, and hit that free like and that free subscribe button. We'd like to start doing our giveaway cash prizes, but we've got to get to that 100,000 mark.
And why don't you check out the tag products today from Sephora? They are lovely. They are gorgeous. They are unique. Now you can shop and watch your favorite podcast at the same time. So I highly recommend you finish listening to this. So what are you going to do in order to obtain your first home? You are going to look at townhomes, which average to 65. You're going to make sure your income, just one income, your income or your husband income or both income must be $60,000 to get into 265. You're also going to get a pre-approved letter from a bank. Oh, you do not have a bank? Well, if you're in the United States, you are in luck. There are 4,800 banks here. Go ahead and apply. Google for the banks or walk in on Monday to a lender. Say, I need a loan application. I'm buying real estate. Complete that loan application. Down payment. There are three ways to get down payments. Four. You can save towards a down payment. Number one. Number two, you can get a family member to gift you a down payment. Lenders will allow family members to gift you. If you're a first-time home buyer, you only need 3% for FHA and you'll need 5% of the purchase price for a conventional loan. Let's say a town home, like we said, is $265. Let's just round it to $250. 3% is $7,500. 5% is $75. So 5% is five i'd 75 plus five twelve thousand five hundred but these are two good loans to get conventional and also fha and the fourth thing to do is look at the zilla program 15 percent down payment <gasps> yes zilla is offering certain areas 15 percent down payment which means that you can get a loan 85 percent loan to value you're 100% financing. I told people, get the home, do not marry the interest rate. You can always refinance it at a different time. It's Tisha Powell. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to go ahead and check out the products by Sephora. They are great. They're gorgeous. They're lovely. They're tag products. And be sure to go ahead and like us and subscribe to us on YouTube. That way you'll get the latest breaking business news. And don't forget, once we get to 100,000 subscribers, We've got a gift for one of you, which will be a hundred thousand at that time. So go ahead and hit that free like and that free subscribe button and check in with us for more breaking business real estate news. Remember three things you need a pre approval letter, a down payment, and your credit score. So go and contact a lender for a down payment for a pre approval letter today. Go and see a lender tomorrow.